Tired of boring Master Sword boss fights like these? Today, I'm going to show you 8 unique Super Mario Maker 2 Link boss ideas that will improve the quality of your courses. Let's get started. Our first idea revolves around an interesting interaction between Link's down thrust ability and Chain Chomp Stumps. When jumping in the air with the Master Sword power up, we can press down to do what I like to call a stabby ground pound. We can cut through most enemies like butter, but we can only destroy one stump at a time. With this newfound technology, we can make a unique and fun boss battle. The concept here is that our way forward is blocked by a tower of stumps on top of a rather large winged spiny. His small minions are scattered about the room trying to shoot their pointy projectiles to stop us. We can create this setup by placing a tall stack of chain chomps while leaving a block of space between them and the big spiny. Then we add this handy contraption to allow us to blow up the chomps and keep the stumps. Our bob -omb is sandwiched between a winged hard block on the bottom and a regular hard block on the top. The winged hard block squeezes the bomb upward until it explodes, destroying both blocks and the chain chomps in proximity. We also need to put all of the winged spinies on munchers so that they don't fly away. Because the spinies don't move, their alternating pattern of plus sign projectiles and X projectiles become easy to predict, but still challenging to avoid. Using Link's shield to block projectiles, some careful dodging, and some sweet stabby ground pounds, we can get to the bottom of the stubborn stumps to destroy Big Spiny and escape through the exit door. Did you know that Link is a professional underwater archer? He can swim around while aiming and shooting his bow with ease. In our underwater boss idea, we make an arena that requires some precision shooting while swiftly dodging enemies. On the right side of the screen, we have a setup of six POW blocks we must get out of the way in order to reach a P-Switch. Luckily, our arrows can both destroy POW blocks and activate P-Switches from a distance. To make things trickier, we add in some angry winged wigglers that patrol our area in a circle. These wigglers hate fun and decide to block any projectiles they come in contact with. For even more obstacles, we throw in some fish bones that turn evil and hone in on our location. If we manage to hit the P-Switch, we now must quickly move to the left side of the arena. Now brown crazy mushrooms are popping out of pipes trying to headbutt us while we are looking to hit the on-off switch. Once the on-off block is triggered by our arrow, the ground beneath the key door activates and a fire Koopa clown car is destroyed, granting us the key to safety. Link carries an unlimited supply of bombs in his pocket, even though they're basically the same size as he is. He can always call on his trusty bombs by pressing up and Y. These pocket bombs will come in handy because Bowser has perfected his new impenetrable arena. A conveyor belt on top moves us toward the lava with only a few blocks to help on our way down. We can throw an explosive into his armored layer as long as the two state blocks allow bombs to pass through. Each time we successfully break a block, the on-off switch is triggered, forcing us to move to the other side. Bowser kindly added in mushroom platform poles to show us the safe areas to stand, but he did leave some tricky platforming with painful fire to deal with as we make our way to the other side. He also tends to shoot his stinky fire breath that we can gracefully dodge or block with our shield. If we do take damage though, we will need to get back to the top to get the Master Sword power up again before being able to throw more explosives. As we progress through the fight, our bombs are moved inward on conveyor belts until they finally destroy Bowser's standing platforms, causing him to plummet into the molten lava. What was the most unique boss fight you've ever seen? Let us know in the comments below. Most Zelda games do not let you freely jump while using Link, and whether you like that mechanic or are eternally frustrated by it, we need to take that power away to get the authentic Zelda experience. Our next course features a clear condition that requires us to keep our feet stuck to the ground the entire time we fight Bowser Jr. 
we instead get to rely on the awesome combat moves that come with the Master Sword power-up. This arena puts us face to face with our enemy with cliffs on either side of the platform. We must be careful to not get pushed back when blocking this boss with our shield, but we can try to push him off instead for a quick victory. As we're gently placed from the door to the main platform, we see fire piranha plants on tracks that are patrolling the perimeter. If we want a safer fight, we can take these out first, but if we want a quicker fight, we can ignore them and just go for the big boy. Bowser Jr. occasionally jumps to a higher platform because he knows we can't chase him. What he forgot, though, is that we can use our arrows to still shoot him down regardless of if we can jump or not. Using a combination of all of our trusty moves, we can take him out and move on to the next fight. We've mentioned a few times the incredible defensive capabilities of the Hylian Shield, but now we will show how it can help us deal damage to our foes. In this idea, we need to use the shield to redirect giant spike balls into an unsuspecting boom boom. By finding the right place to stand and holding down, we can deflect these rolling orbs and reverse their direction. One-way gates prevent us from leaving the small area up top, but we are still able to interact with the projectiles through them. The way this fight works is that the spike balls spawn from pipes and roll towards us. We need to create a pathway by hitting the on-off switches. After we deflect the spike ball, we need it to drop down to the level where Boom Boom lives. If we simply let it fall on its own, it will break because of Spike's flimsy construction. With careful timing though, we can let it drop and roll into the soft but bouncy trampoline wall. After it hits that trampoline wall, it's going to roll right into Boom Boom and damage him. If we can complete this three times, we can annihilate our enemy and leave the area. Sometimes bosses are just misunderstood. Our next idea revolves around using the Koopa Clown Car to help Bowser move forward. There's an interesting mechanic when flying in the Koopa Clown Car as Link. We can press Y to drop bombs directly below our location when we're in the air. Using this concept, we can create challenges that require us to drop bombs through bumpers that eventually destroy hard blocks holding Bowser back. Bumpers are perfect for this course because the player is not able to move through them while the bombs can. In this level, we will need to avoid two different types of spike traps. One of these is little silver pointy things that cause our vehicle to bounce around uncontrollably, and the other is a green guy who constantly throws his spiky vomit to hurt us. If we can manage to survive through those obstacles and destroy all of the blocks while making sure to keep Bowser alive, we can work on blasting our way through this area to reach the on-off block. Activating the on-off block will let us move Bowser through the final conveyor belt and removes the blocks covering up note blocks. Once our fiery friend bounces on them, we are rewarded with the key and can move on. If you've learned something new in this video, make sure to hit that like button to support the channel. Let's talk about a boss fight revolving around my favorite thing in the world, arrows. Link can shoot arrows in six different directions by using L or R and pressing in a direction. This fight places us in a small arena against Bowser. As we enter, we step on a P-switch that gives us a floor to stand on. The difficult part about this fight is that once the timer expires, we fall into a pit of death. The good news though, is that we have four more opportunities to extend that timer by shooting P-switches or jumping on them at the right time. While we're worrying about the floor of the arena, we also have to shoot arrows at Bowser. It takes 20 arrows to defeat him, and we only get the one Master Sword power-up that we entered with. Two munchers on tracks block our projectiles and can damage us if we're not careful, so we need to make sure that we think through our attack strategy. This simple design is deceptively difficult but it's nothing that Link the Master Archer can't handle. The 2.0 update gives us new parts to have some winter fun. Our next idea revolves around snowballs and the Master Sword power-up. At the very beginning of this fight, a lava bubble burns through frozen coin blocks to let a winged Bowser drop into the arena. 
two giant spike enemies are below us, trying to slow us down with snowballs. This idea can only happen in the snow theme. All the other themes use the spike ball instead of snowballs. Above us, snowballs are also shooting out of the pipes, unless they're blocked with two state blocks. It's our job to activate the on-off switch at the perfect time to allow the snowball on the right to roll into Bowser. Now I know what you're thinking. How can simple snowballs defeat the great King Koopa? Well, let's just say he had a traumatic snowball fight incident when he was a young turtle and has never quite been the same since. In order to get the snowballs to roll across the two state block bridge, we need to activate the on off switch. We can do this with our arrows or by bouncing on a snowball and slashing the on off block with our sword. Once we annoy Bowser enough with our snowball shenanigans, he gives up and leaves us a key so that we may finally leave him in peace. For even more jaw dropping boss ideas, click on the video on the screen right now. To continue to make courses, improve your level design, and stay updated to Mario Maker 2, remember to subscribe and click that bell. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching.